most software needs to collect input. Luckily, we have a lot of controls that allow us to do that. However, not all these controls are created equally. In fact, some are better suited to specific tasks than others. To illustrate, let's take a look at a flight booking form. Once I specify where I'm heading from and going to, I have a series of additional questions. In this case, they're all represented as drop-down menus. In fact, there's three up here, another three right here, and one, two, three more. And you may say, what's wrong with the drop-down? Let's take a quick look. On a touch interface, first I have to tap the control. This brings up a dialog where I can actually select my value. If I live in Alabama, just one tap. If I don't, I've got to make my way through, find the choice I need, tap it, and then tap done. That adds up to at least a four tap operation. When you consider how many controls we had on the previous form times four taps, you can see how the effort quickly adds up. That's why drop down menus should really be the UI of last resort. Not the first solution you come to, but something you fall back to if you can't find a simpler answer. One such simpler answer is the stepper. A stepper is a very simple control that allows people to increment values quickly and easily. Here, on the flight booking form on Kayak, we see a stepper being used to specify travelers instead of a drop-down menu. If I need to move this up, just one tap. Now, this form can only go up to eight travelers. So worst case scenario, I'm tapping seven times. Quite rare that that would actually happen. A stepper not only allows us to increase and decrease values, but it also can be used to make adjustments. Consider this two-button stepper compared to one with an actual value inside. The one with the value inside not only is friendlier for touch, because the buttons are separated, but it also has an input field in between. So I could tap on that and enter a specific value if I wanted to, making it quicker and easier to get to a higher range of numbers. The opportunities for steppers are all over the place. Looking at this booking form, you can see guests, beds, bedrooms, bathrooms, all represented by drop-downs, all which could be better off using a stepper. In fact, that's what this form on Kayak for hotel booking does. Number of guests, number of rooms, simple stepper controls. On Android, Airbnb, which is the example we looked at a moment ago, does use the stepper. In fact, they use the implementation with a value in between the two controls. This not only allows you to quickly see what value is entered, but separates out those two touchable areas, as I mentioned before. Now, sometimes that separation can be a bad thing if taken too far. Going back to a flight booking form, here we see number of passengers represented as a stepper, but the two controls are very far apart. And they're in a grayed out state, kind of making them look inactive. This problem is actually magnified when you have multiple steppers in a form. Tapping on seniors or children here reveals a series of steppers, all of which have the same separation and interactivity challenges. One other problem with steppers occurs when we try and do precise or big changes. So when I tap make an offer over here in this interface, you'll see I'm given a stepper control where I can move that value up or down by one. But what happens when I want to make precise changes or big changes? Perhaps I can use that slider to move things more dramatically, say to 28 or beyond. However, if I want to make a precise change to something like 28.25, the stepper and the slider don't really help. So while steppers can simplify input in a number of ways, they do come with limits. Simplifying inputs with steppers is a great technique that allows you to manage situations where you want to increase or decrease values by a constant amount, or when you want to make small adjustments. Before defaulting to a dropdown for every data collection point you have in your app, think about the stepper first. Thank you.